Hi there guys, we're back with our first angle orthographic projection video and in this case here you might notice something a little bit uh, more progressive from our first videos as these um, don't only have points but they also have lines. Remember we said that we are going to be uh, connecting the two points, forming lines and um, yeah, then we're going to go find out uh, exactly where those lines are found in our third and final view of each one of the drawings. Right, so let's go do that. Remember guys, we are going to be labeling each one of these axes. So we're going to have X, Y, because we read from left to right. We will have X1, Y1 from top to bottom. All right, and it'll always be like that. Please remember, it doesn't matter where this 45 degree line is and where you're projecting from. Let's look at the one on the right hand side. It's on the opposite side. Yeah, you got it on the left hand side. Over here, you've got it on the right hand side. So yeah, you still will label X, Y, X1, Y1. All right, this is um, a video that's going to be showing you um, as part of the points, lines, laminar series of orthographic projection, um, just how to do an orthographic projection of lines. All right, let's get started. We are going to construct our lines, obviously, to project each one of our points across to the missing view. Just remember that uh, A, in fact, on this side here, I'm going to start with the right-hand side. B is in line with A. Therefore, I can simply go and project this one horizontally across into that necessary view. I'm going to do the same. Remember, we're going to be testing whether this is orthographically correct so B would have to be in line with B1 let's see if that actually works out there it is so it is orthographically uh, correct A would have to be in line with A1 that is correct therefore we also have B1 and A1 in line with each other and we're going to project that across to our 45 degree line and we're going to project from our 45 degree line. Let's just go and find that that line accurately on this 45 degree line. And we're going to be projecting that up. Quite interestingly, we can see that those two points are in line with each other on this line over here. And these two points from a top view, which are exactly the same two points, are also in line when I see them from the top, projected across and up and it only gives me one intersecting point or an intersection point. So I'm going to plot that point. Okay. Not that one. But that point. Okay, and in this case here, we are going to say, well, let's follow up with A. We're going to project A across, and we're going to project A down, across, and up which means it falls on that point. I'm going to label it A2. How about B2? Let's try B2. B2 across, down, across, and up. And can you see that it falls on the same point? Which means B2 is directly behind A2 in the left side view. And I'm going to be labeling it A2, B2. Right, now that we've done that one, I'd like to get on to the first one. The first one over here, we're going to do the routine thing. Remember, guys, what are we doing? We are basically finding the points. What are we doing to the points? We are going to be connecting those points. What do we form when we connect the two points? Lines. So whether you're finding points, whether you're finding lines, whether you're finding lamina, whether you're finding shapes, all you really have to do is go back to the basics and go and find the points that shape makes. It's like kind of connecting the dots, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go project B down and across. We're also going to be projecting A down and across and we're also going to be taking from our second view the information from our second view to find the third view. Well, B and A are in line, so I'm going to simply project both those points down. And you'll see that I can plot those two points on the same line. 
this will be. Well, we'll look at what this point will be in a moment. Those two points there. Zoom it in nicely for us over here. If we follow A, which we didn't project across, let's do so and test the orthographic correctness. There we go, that is correct. And B to B2, that is correct. Let's see. Well, if I've got A, let's focus on A, point A alone. Project it down, project it across. From A2, that point there, project it down and across. That means this, inter this line and this line must intersect at this point, which must be an A. In this case, it's A1. Therefore, the other one must be B1. Great. Okay, so let's zoom in on this character over here. The third one, remember, we are only finding the third and final view, which is great because we have information from a top view and a right side view in this case. I'm going to go ahead and project this line horizontally across. I'm going to do the same with A2. I also want to test whether this is orthographically correct. So my B, I'm going to just a little further through my 45 degree line. In your case, you could just simply go to the 45 degree line like that and project it across. Yes, this is orthographically correct. Right there, horizontally across, meets up with B1, perfect. Right, so from A1, project it straight up vertically to intersect with A2's line, A1, and A2 meet at that intersection point. So I can go and plot it as all. Well. There it is there, and I'm going to label it straight away, A. Right, and then obviously the third and final, sorry, the, the second point vertically up that intersection point is found on this line and on this line straight away I can label it B and I'm going to plot B right over there okay let's make it visible here we go All right so remember now in our three drawings we had a right side view to draw or a front view or a top view and in this side here, we had a left side view, front view, and a top view. Nothing really changed. Remember what I said before? When you're finding your points or a shape or lines, those two lines are joined or, or joining points. And if you can find the points, you'll be able to find the line. Invariably, if you can join more than two or three points, uh, rather three, then you'll be able to find a shape. If you're joining three points, you'll typically finding a flat surface which is a laminar okay so if you can go straight back to basics every time you do these um, you wouldn't have a problem finding your shape line or laminar okay let's do the fourth and final one routine I have two views that are going to be providing me information for my third view I project that information across, which is a heart in this case. And I'm going to just check whether this is orthographically correct. When I get it to touch the actual 45 degree line and I project it up. Hmm, there's a problem here. I have A1 and B2 connecting up. Does this mean I've incorrect uh, uh, labeling? Yes. So let's swap around these two. And let's keep it orthographically correct. Therefore, I can go ahead and project B1. and line it up with B2. Now we know that that is orthographically uh, correct. 
All right, we're going to now pr project B1 vertically up to meet up with B2. And we're going to project A1 vertically up to connect with A2's projection line. So that I have two intersecting points over there and over there. I'm going to plot those two intersecting points quickly. And I'm going to label them correctly. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to drag B. So remember, it is we are finding B's line or B's point on the line of B. And A is typically going to be down here. Right now, remember, we found the two points. What do we do to the two points? We go ahead and we join them. There it is there and there. All right. Have we done the same with all the others? No. Let's go do that. Yeah, we found points. I'm going to do a little trick here. There we go. I'm going to do the same. Oh, can we do it yet? No, because we've said that what one point represents the line, isn't it? B is directly behind A2. And let's zoom in on the third one. We can do that one there from here to here. OK, so remember, once you've found your points, what are we dealing with? We're dealing with lines. Eh? OK, so you have to go and join those two points to form a line. Guys, I hope this has helped you and um, stay tuned to my next video. Thanks.